Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. Let's make this beautiful dress in CLO 3D. Link to all the textures that I used in this video is in the description. If you have any questions comment them down below. Bring an avatar from library. Create a simple pattern with Polygon Tool. Select these two lines while holding down Shift key on your keyboard, right-click and select Distribute Internal Line between segments. Choose the number of offsets and click on OK. The internal lines are yellow, that means that they are selected, right-click and select Offset as Internal Line. Choose the distance and click on OK. Right-click on this segment and click on Unfold Symmetric Editing. Now select the whole pattern with Transform Tool, make a copy of it with Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V. Adjust the pattern's positions in the 3D window. So the segments with Segment Sewing Tool, as you can see my sewings don't look correct, that's because I forgot to flip the back pattern horizontally. Change some of the fabric's details before simulating. I want the fabric to be less stretchy and also less bendy. Increase the fabric's friction so it won't fall down when it's simulating. Click on Avatar's body and increase the friction here as well. You can change the skin offset so there's less distance between clothes and Avatar's body. Simulate, little arrow in the corner or space key on your keyboard. Drag the bottom segment with Edit Pattern Tool and make the pattern longer. Simulate. Let's make the skirt. Hold down Control key on your keyboard for curve points. You can edit the curve points with Edit Curve Point Tool. Click on this segment with Edit Pattern Tool and select Unfold. Add two points near the endings with Add Point Tool. So the segments with Free Sewing Tool. Scale the pattern up with Transform Tool. Edit the points until you get the shape that you want. Add two internal lines below the ending points. Simulate. Select the internal lines with Edit Pattern Tool. Change the internal lines fold angle, then simulate to see how that looks. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So these two parts together with free sewing tool, do it for both sides. Every time the little arrow in the corner turns blue, it means the simulation is on. Scale the pattern up with transform tool. Edit the points until you get the shape that you want. Select the internal lines with Edit Pattern Tool, then delete them with Delete key on your keyboard. Drag this point and move it up a little. Edit the sewing with Edit Sewing Tool and move it towards the other pattern a little bit. Select the pattern and press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to create a symmetric pattern. Simulate. Make a copy of the pattern for the back with Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V. Adjust its 3D position. Do the sewings exactly like we did with the front patterns.
Select the pattern and press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to create a symmetric pattern. Make another copy for side of the dress. Here, I realized I made a mistake with the back pattern sewing and didn't sew all the way through, so I fixed that with Edit Sewing Tool. Back to the side patterns. We want to sew these segments to two separate patterns. After selecting the first part, hold down Shift key to sew it to the other two parts. Select the pattern and press Ctrl plus D on your keyboard to create a symmetric pattern. With Edit Pattern tool, click four times on one of the internal lines to select all of them in that pattern. Right-click and select Cut and Sew. Do the same with the back pattern. Now select the other patterns, right-click and select Layer Clone Over. Do the same with skirt patterns. Make a copy of the current fabric, then give it a texture, normal map, and displacement map. I put the link to the textures that I use in the description. Select all the layer clone patterns and assign them to the new fabric. You can change the scale of the texture with Edit Texture tool. Here I made it a little smaller. Simulate. Select all the skirt patterns with Transform tool and holding down Shift key. Right click and strengthen them. Simulate. Right-click on Avatar's body and select All Faces. You can change its color and some of its other options like metalness and roughness. Let's add some pearls. Select the button that looks like a pearl first, then you can change its width, thickness, and metalness and roughness. With button tool, you can add the pearls you created, smiley face. You can add them from both 3D window and 2D window. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I wanted to make the texture a little bit smaller, so I had to delete the pearls and add them one more time. You can move and select the buttons with Edit Slash Move Buttons tool. Add them one more time. Right-click on Skirt's Layer Clone Patterns and select Remove Linked Editing, then scale them up a little and simulate. You can help the simulation manually and fix some parts that are stuck together. Change avatars, pose from library.
Select all the patterns and lower the particle distance. Simulate. Let's add some thickness to these patterns. Make sure that thick texture surface in the 3D window is on. Let's see how our dress looks in the render view. You can change the lighting from the light properties and the background from the image slash video properties. Click on interactive render to see the image. See how different lightings would work on your project. I don't like that the skirts have some white empty parts. So let's fix that. Select all the skirt patterns, right click, but this time, select layer clone under. Assign them to the second fabric. Simulate. You can strengthen these parts as well. Now it looks better. I forgot to change displacement maps amount, so let's do that really quick. Also lower its particle distance. Thank you for watching, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions comment them down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.